Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. In today's video we are going to dive into some outliners and uh, compare them. So we are going to take a look at Dynalist, we are going to take a look at Workflowy, Tama and Roam Research, which are all great outliner applications and I'm going to quickly try and compare the different um, the diff different use cases and the differences between all the applications because some of them are quite similar like Dynalist and Workflowy but things like Tana might be a little different and I am going to try to keep it really short especially when it comes to Rome research because uh, my subscription uh, is um, finished and it is too expensive to keep buying note-taking apps to film YouTube videos. Anyways, let's jump into the first one and this is uh, Dynalist. This is the closest one to Workflow, which is uh, one that I like a lot. Uh, and basically this is really markdown heavy, so if you take a look at the right here you have a cheat sheet for markdown uh, especially up here so things like formatting you have date picking which can be done by uh, an exclamation mark uh, you can link different things together this is something you're used to if you are uh, if you have used an application with markdown but basically what this offers that i feel like no other uh, outlining application offers is the fact that you have the ability to have folders so not only can you link to specific things so let me just try and link to something here not only can you link to specific things but you can also have the folder structure which is uh, even though uh, these um, these backlinking applications has become a lot more popular uh, a lot of people still like to have uh, the folder structure here as well. Apart from that, it is really similar to a lot of the other um, outlining uh, applications and the whole outline experience. So you have the ability to add uh, tags here as well. Uh, another way of organizing. So you have tags, you have... Um, you have folders and you have backlinks. One thing about the tags here uh, is that it is a little different. So whenever I press um, the tag, you can see that it just search for the tag. So in another way, you could just put test like this uh, and search for test. So it is a little different when it comes to tagging compared to a lot of the other applications that have the same uh, tagging system but apart from that it is just a basic outliner with the ability to zoom into things and uh, write um, and write uh, underneath a bullet point so nesting a bullet point within another bullet point you have the ability to add tags and to link different things together and you also have the folder structure which is something uh, I think no other outlining application actually offers. One thing to note about this, this is made from the same team that is now making Obsidian, is that uh, I went over to their iOS application on my phone uh, to check it out and it hasn't been updated for two years. So that is something you are sacrificing if you're going to pick this tool, is that it isn't kept up uh, compared to the other applications I am going to show you in this video. So it has a pricing plan of $7.99 uh, each month uh, per month build annually or $9.99 uh, build monthly. Um, you get unlimited uh, items on the free plan. What you get on the pro plan is things like Google Calendar, Capture to in Inbox, Recurring Dates, Unlimited Bookmarks. But I would say that the Google Calendar and Capture to Inbox are the most important things. You also get custom CSS as well if you wanted to customize your uh, Dynalist experience. But pricing wise it isn't too bad. I feel like it loses to the next app we are going to talk about that offers a lot of the same things. Uh, but um, it... Um, 
but it uh, is priced uh, lower than uh, Dyn List. The next application we are going to talk about is actually Workflowy, and Workflowy is really similar to Dynalist. That's probably two of the closest apps I have ever compared. There are some minor differences. So um, what Workflowy has that um, that Dynalist does not have is the mirroring things. But on the other hand, this does not have the folder structure. But mirror things is basically a way for your bullet points to live in multiple different places. So the same synced bullet point can live in multiple different places. As you can see here, you have uh, the Super Notes podcast, which I've actually published. Uh, but uh, it lives here under projects and it should live under podcasts as well so it can live in multiple different places and that is a really neat feature that only uh, workflowy has uh, apart from that it is really similar this is basically a way for you to uh, add uh, your uh, notes as bullet points and nest them underneath other bullet points you have uh, tags here as well uh, but you also do have backlinking so you can link different things together and see how your uh, see all of your backlinks again really similar to Dynalist um, they have many of the same features uh, only major difference I've seen is uh, that Dynalist has the folder structure while um, uh, Workflowy has mirror things that's like the features that set them really apart apart from of course the user interface and I've learned that uh, something like user interface is really important if you're going to stick with a note-taking app for a long period of time another thing to keep in mind is that this is updated quite uh, regularly and they are working on the applications while as I said with Dynalist not the case at least not for the mobile application on ios devices also pricing wise this will cost you 4.99 a month which is really cheap for a note-taking application uh, but they also have uh, annual which is 4.08 each month again really cheap both of these are really cheap uh, with the free plan you get a monthly bullet limit um, and you don't actually get that in the pro plan so you will have to pay for the pro plan to be able to uh, use this regularly uh, i don't know how much the monthly bullet limit is but i reached it in a month so um, i would recommend paying for this but this is quite uh, cheap compared to uh, all of the other note-taking apps on the market and this is a really powerful application even with such a low pricing so the next application is uh, one of the first uh, outliner or backlinking uh, note-taking app applications or at least one of the first one that got really popular this is Rome research Rome has had a bit of a controversy lately I won't go too deep into that I won't actually talk about that at all uh, but I will talk about the application and how it works so first of all the pricing is really expensive $15 each month or 165 each year each year which comes in at 1375 which is really, really expensive. Uh, I I would probably not pay this amount of money for an outliner application, but a lot of people do love it and they have uh, a community that really loves the application. So uh, I'm guessing that this works for a lot of people. I just don't have the money to pay this each month. Uh, and still be able to afford everything else I need to and want to afford. Um, but I would say that this is um, one of the more pricier options and that is what everyone in the note-taking community uh, actually says. But it has a couple of things that, um, uh, that the other applications do not have. It has daily notes, which is one of my favorite ways to wait to take notes um, you can actually use this as your um, 
as your uh, inbox feature. It also has an all page view and I like the fact that it shows you the word count as well as mentions right here. Uh, and you also have the graph view which uh, other uh, outliner applications do not have. Only one actually has this graph view and that one is really similar to uh, Rome Research compared to things like Workflowy and Dime List. This feels a lot more like a premium product in every uh, way uh, and that's also um, seen in the pricing of this but having the graph I feel like when you have backlinking and an outliner application is really really important. Uh, it gives you a whole nother way of structuring your your uh, notes um, compared to both Workflowy and um, and Dynalist, even though Workflow is probably closer when it comes to the organization of your note-taking applications. But I have actually never really tried this out uh, properly. I have played around with it for a month, but uh, it is just too pricey for me personally. You also have an extension market right here, uh, which uh, allows you to add plugins to your Rome graph. Um, again, similar to something like Obsidian, that is also another thing I like. This allows you to customize your uh, experience of the application, um, which is great. Uh, but I feel like an application like uh, Rome Research loses to something like LogSec, which we are going to talk about next. So next application on the list is, as I said, LogSec. And when I said that I feel like Rome Re Research loses to something like this, it is because this is free. You can pay for sync, but you can also use third party sync like iCloud Drive. Uh, I haven't tested it for LogSec. I have tested out uh, iCloud Drive for uh, Obsidian and it worked quite well. But uh, you get the graph view here, you get the daily pages here, uh, and you even get whiteboards and flashcards and a plug-in system here as well. So it offers everything that uh, Rome Research offers. This is the closest one to Rome Research. You also, again, have... It is like really inspired by Rome Research, it feels like, but because you have the all pages here, like I showed you in uh, Rome, where you can see the word count and the mentions. You can actually see the mentions here as well. You can see the backlinks. But given the fact that this is free um, and it offers more features than uh, Rome uh, Research, it is also highly uh, privacy concerned, giving you the ability to actually own all of your notes stored locally in Markdown files on your device, which uh, has uh, uh, some good things to it and some bad things to it, depending on what you need. But if privacy is really important to you, uh, this might be the best choice. Uh, but on the other hand, you actually have to back up your notes yourself. Uh, again, a plugin system here as well, so you can add your plugins and customize the application. Ability to sync and pay for the syncing plan. I tried paying for the syncing plan. This was a long time ago. Uh, I think I, back then you only had to uh, pay a donation uh, to get the syncing beta. Uh, and I tried it, didn't work back then, and I stopped using LogSec. Uh, because I'm not an outliner person. Um, but um, I would say that this is probably the best one if you have uh, a bit of technical knowledge, uh, because this is uh, te more technical than the other applications. You actually have to spend a bit more time actually learning the application and maybe watching a couple of YouTube tutorials. So I would say that this is the most technical one, uh, but uh, it is um, also the one that's best when it comes to privacy and pricing. The last one is the new kid on the block. This is uh, called uh, Tana, and just like 
every other Outliner application, you have the ability to create uh, nodes or bullet points. They're called nodes inside of Tana, and you can nest under uh, other bullet points underneath this bullet point, like you can do in every other Outliner. So that is something that is similar to uh, all of the other applications. What Tana offers that no other application offers is the ability to not only quickly capture things uh, and link them together using backlinks, but also to see them in a structured view like a database view. And uh, you can see it in multiple different ways. So I have the list one right here, but you could also, for example, see it in a calendar view with your to-do list, uh, just as an example. Um, this is also highly focused on AI and adding AI features. So you have the AI chat, you have uh, voice notes and voice transcriptions. You know, a lot of cool things. This is probably my favorite. And even though this is uh, also pricey, uh, so this uh, will cost you uh, around $14 each month if billed yearly and $18 each month if billed monthly. So even more pricey than Roam Research. Uh, but on the other hand, it offers a lot of AI uh, with that as well. Um, many people that does not uh, or would think that Rome is really overpriced it is probably because of the feature set. So you don't get too many features with the pricing. Uh, but with Tana, you get the AI, which would be expensive if you just went out and bought the AI for itself. So a chat GPT subscription, for example, uh, you also get things like a meeting agent that joins your meetings and transcribes things for you. So uh, apart from being an outliner application, it also feels like um, something like Microsoft Copilot in the Microsoft ecosystem, allowing you to have all of your knowledge to chat with, but also allowing you to have an assistant, an AI assistant that joins your meeting and transcribe things for you. So it offers a lot more than the other uh, I Outlining application. This doesn't just want to be an outliner, it wants to be so much more than that. And that is one of the reasons why the um, pricing is so much higher. But uh, on the outlining capabilities, it is a basic outliner with the ability to add tags, to add uh, notes uh, and nest uh, notes within other notes and link different things together. But uh, the selling point of this as an outliner is that these tags right here uh, are actually called super tags, which can make your things uh, into databases. So that is the outlining applications I have for you in today's video. This got a lot longer than I thought it would, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.